Prasenjivar ji is professor in mechanical engineering in the department uh, in the department of mechanical engineering. So the institute is VNR uh, Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad. Uh, he has been with he has been since October 2021. Started with this uh, introductory FDP, then uh, joined this fifth batch of morning session in 2022, and then took but uh, several volunteering activities, including PPI, FAQ, attending regularly the weekly meeting, monthly meeting, and so many activities he is associated with. One of the significant is uh, he is also taking part in the translation of local Telugu language um, translation and uh, <clears throat> going to observe for different festivals. FDPs. So, with this short introduction, I will invite uh, Tenmas Gupta ji to put this uh, over to you. Yeah. Uh, namaste, all. Uh, I would like to uh, express a few words before uh, I already my uh, introduction about me is given by Baya. Yeah, uh, so, I think I need uh, to not elaborate much on that. Uh, uh, let me express uh, the positive uh, effect of UHV on my life uh, till today. So I am with immense pleasure uh, to express my feelings of gratitude to all my UHV family. UHV provided me great insight uh, through these steps in exercises, uh, apart from leaving proposals for self-exploration. These steps in exercises are helpful for me in the process of self-exploration and become motivational tools for my self-growth. Also for developing right understanding and feeling of relationship with all units in the nature. Now I am able to see my existence in the coexistence uh, some extent. I express my wholehearted thankfulness and gratefulness to all my UHV family. These exercises are created an opportunity to explore myself by practicing these exercises. I am able to visualize the connectedness among all units in the nature. The way uh, Didi, Samila Didi narrated the concepts uh, while introducing the uh, introducing and elaborating the steps and exercises in the morning sessions are uh, really made me thought provoking. Questions raised and sharings of experiences uh, by my co explorers becoming an eye opening for me. Especially uh, recently, when I interact with uh, Ganesh Baiji uh, by asking the question how to develop feeling of relationship with uh, the people among the people uh, having particular mindsets and uh, feelings of uh, my existence and coexistence, how I can uh, identify. And when I express the difficulty to meet my expectations through uh, this process, the way by a given explanation is so crystal, uh, crystal clear that by a said, it's all right to have expectations, but you need to have right expectations. The word impressed me a lot. And I started uh, in depth uh, understanding on that word to make uh, myself uh, as pure observer. Overall, I find dramatic shift in my depth of understanding level from fifth to ninth batch. I am starting from fifth batch onwards I'm attending. I am now quite confident that I will be able to improve further my competency level by keep on practicing these exercises. Coming to my introduction, let me brief out. The body of mine is given name Srinivas Gupta. I have been uh, playing my role as professor in the mechanical department of ENR with Vijnan Jyoti Institute of Engineering Technology, Hyderabad in Telangana state. Coming to my family, we are three brothers. Uh, we are uh, three brothers, uh, including me and one sister. Both of my brothers dedicated their life for serving society through Brahma Kumar's Raj Yoga meditation practice. My mother and both of my brothers residing together in my hometown near Visakhapatna of Andhra Pradesh. And sister has got married and blessed with the son and daughter. They are working in the IT sector. We are all practitioners of Brahma Kumar's Raj Yoga meditation. I am staying with my wife who, who is deaf and dumb by birth and my son Sivasaru for studying in fourth standard in Hyderabad. I have been practicing Raj Yoga meditation since from two decades. EHV attracted me as there is similarity in the concept of uh, both of these. Due to my born and brought out samskars, I was very curious to know and understand spirituality about self and uh, gone through many spiritual books, including Bhagavad Gita. My EHV journey was beginning in November 2021. I participated in faculty development program on EHV number of times 
till i got clarity in the content now i am regular in attending ehp morning session since from fifth batch coming to exercises uh, step on uh, observing the self by the self fiber moment observe uh, my imagination at this moment uh, especially feelings right now i could say most of times if not at every moment i am able to pay attention and observe my imagination especially my feelings when i was in the beginning stage of attending uh, morning sessions uh, that was in the pit batch uh, it may be difficult for practice this step observing imagination i mean uh, observe my imagination especially feelings associated with desires i observe there is a overlap of these activities uh, and uh, simultaneously these activities are rolling in the self as i try to practice more and more after listening morning sessions till this ninth batch most of times especially in the recent days i am able to observe my feelings by standing outside the flow of my uh, thoughts and imagination even in some unfavorable situations also uh, i could observe also i observe the process of imagination um, my imagination is becoming slow and slow and also less in conflict of thoughts uh, let me share my expertise uh, in the earlier days of observation when i interacted with my wife uh, as i mentioned in the previous sharings also i had inbuilt assumptions and uh, preconditions in my mind i spontaneously become angry and wish to see change in her behavior by using the tit tat uh, approach uh, uh, tit for tat approach and uh, shouting on her and becoming angry and showing that in my actions by not talking with her hours together and sometimes days together but hardly i found any change in her after having certain period of practice i am able to understand all these earlier behavior is due to lack of my ability to make my feelings and thoughts aligned with natural acceptance uh, sometimes i try to pretend myself calm and cool in those situations but my inner core is disturbed a lot i try to convince her and see some temporary change in her behavior now that nowadays i could be able to observe thoroughly my feelings and some thoughts analyzing Uh, through uh, the support of ehp proposals and also while doing volunteering activities i am very keen to observe thoroughly the feelings of others uh, uh, in those uh, struggled situations sharing of others in the str- struggle situation they face by standing myself from out of the flow and correlating my case with those sharings in this way i could be able to get clarity on my feelings and uh, thoughts uh, and develop the understanding with this understanding i am able to deal those situations wholeheartedly with feelings of relatedness i wanted to find see real change in her attitude even with my son instead of uh, shouting at him trying to observe his psychology meticulously and convey the meaning with the sweet words coming from inner core heart i have seen him start listening and uh, listening me and open his mind and able to narrate his uh, share his uh, interest what i uh, achieve is able to refer and check whether my feelings are naturally acceptable or not my behavior with uh, uh, irregular and irresponsible students also earlier it was i kept all those incidents in my mind while interact with uh, such students i feel they must be punished and try to give punishment as and when situation is favorable to me now i am able to forget such incidents uh, of the past with the Uh, understanding of their competency level and the deal with them with relatedness and the parental nature now i have seen change in their attitude they used to open their inner voice and share their problems uh, with open mind i am very keen to observe myself when i was tempted towards uh, food that is uh, sweets and uh, spicy food now i am able to put a limit by having an understanding that my sole purpose is nurturing the body i give importance to nourish food instead of taste when i feel hungry i could be able to observe i have nice feelings of taste in any food even saltless but with confirmation that whether it nurtures the body or not coming to second step is the feeling that uh, i have at this moment naturally acceptable to me earlier it was observed frequently i myself flow along with my imagination and thoughts and unaware of it ultimately struggle by myself and at the end disturbed a lot and feel bad it was happened so frequently because of my inability to decide what to do and what not to do just due to lack of awareness now i am able to understand the mahamantra for all situations to become calm and comfortable is that is 
By asking a question myself, the feelings I have at this moment are naturally acceptable or not. In the beginning stage of practice, most frequently I used to forget about this uh, tool of referring natural acceptance and worried a lot if things become upside down. Uh, for example, I used to comment if I find a small mistake and wrong behavior in others, colleagues, friends, uh, and family members. Suppose students used to escape from laboratory work and not able to sit in the class in time, try to use cell phone while class is going on, chit-chatting. I used to irritate myself and a lot and unable to accept that type of behavior in turn disturbed my mind and till I punished them, I was unable to become calm and cool. Now I am able to understand their competency level and with calm and composed mind, try to make them involved in the present task by make them understand the importance of every minute in the student life and purpose of student life. My son also start telling lies with his, with his mother to grab her attention and affection. I am able to convince my son the importance of truthfulness by protecting his interests first and later slowly convincing him and making him understand the consequences. Most of the times my colleagues take my help when they want to uh, take leave by adjusting the class and not at all bothering to take back later on. Earlier I had quite opposing feelings on them. Now I never have any second thought and understood that they may not get time for taking it on return because of their schedule, uh, work or some other genuine reason. Uh, coming to step three, are you in harmony and happy with the feelings that you have at this moment? Earlier, most of the times I am. Uh, but whenever uh, some tiredness in my mind and sensations are dominating at large, and heavy with so many heavy with so many activities uh, and unable to finish with the, in the planned time, find a disturbance when executing my plan, unable to complete plan uh, within the time frame. I have inconvenient feelings and uh, disharmony to try to seeking solution from uh, outer world and unable to understand the solution lies uh, within me. In fact, now in most of the situations, I feel I can find the solution myself. Coming to fourth step, uh, who decides the feeling that we have at this moment? Sometimes uh, hard and typical situations also, I take decision with a calm and comfortable uh, mind. It indicates the situation never decide. I only draw conclusion from the situation and decide my feelings. Quite contradiction uh, of that, uh, sometimes a very light and simple situation, I feel it's so complicated and disturbed my mind and unable to take simple decisions since with a lot of preconditioning assumptions are dominating rather than naturally acceptable feelings. It is clear now that the ultimate decision maker is myself. Unless I worry at the quick of the moment, I found my decision becomes perfectly right. If I am so worried at the end of my decision becomes so wrong that I was in trouble. Coming to step four, for fifth one, uh, on what basis did you decide the feelings you have at this moment? Uh, you decide uh, your feelings based on understanding or assumptions. Even though I feel I am able to understand and take proper decision at any situation, sometimes due to domination of my old samskars made me to take wrong decision. For example, I am ready to do some favor for somebody who is in need, real need. Immediately change my thought with the precondition that whether I might be cheated and uh, uh, misutilized fa my favor by other person. This is also lack of trust on others. Uh, coming to step six, even though feelings of harmony, relationship and coexistence in the existence are naturally acceptable for me and I am unable to get rid of my mind from impressions of past situations and conflicts conflicting thoughts with the people. So drag down me to influence of such incidents also. Uh, now and then also made me unaware at that moment and I react immediately. But after uh, that incident, I am able to recognize, uh, uh, identify it made me worry that uh, my inability to take the right decision uh, to make relationship with others. I need to work uh, in that direction. Sometimes I feel it requires a lifelong learning till my last breath to reach the completeness of it. So coming to step seventh, after thorough analysis of all activities of self, referring through UHP proposals, one question comes into my mind that, why should I deviate me from happiness? 
because it is all on in me since i am the decision maker for the feelings i have most of the times i am trying to ensure my feelings based on natural acceptance it is well understood that in this materialistic world body requires limited quantity for that why should i struggle and sacrifice unlimited and continuous happiness which is uh, uh, purely depends on myself practice of these steps and observe the imagination day by day tune up my mind and able to respond almost all situations it instill lot of confidence in me and prepared me for tackling any challenging situation without much effort what i observed in already coming to exercise to step on i am existed and body also existed these are two realities there is no doubt uh, since i am utilizing the body as an instrument for all uh, my activities planned uh, five uh, sensual organs also function regularly as part of my body and i am busy with the uh, planning some interesting activity like for example like to i need to use my mind while it's education i instruct the body to use it for serving the purpose i can see the distinct realities of body and self as different entities coming to step 2 i transact transact information with the body through space time to time it's very easy to observe and i am able to communicate by all means using my body with my family members friends colleagues it is very clear for me that knowledge is light and mind with the right understanding and a strong feeling of relationship we make i i can make every interaction so sweet and fruitful provided that i am in the self consciousness body consciousness make me fall into wrong concept uh, coming to step 3 i am the one who decides what instructions are to be placed to the body and what sensations are to be read from the body i am so keen to observe and read the sensation from the body and pass instructions to the body nowadays i am able to read sensations of hungry sleep thirst even i am so busy with other activities also and act timely to give importance to those sensations so maintain good health coming to step 4 while reading this sensation i am not the sensation it is confirmed i can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where i am at a distance from the sensation there is a distance between self and the body it is very clear that whenever myself is occupied with some important activity running serious thought process i am not bother about to read the sensation till i make myself ready to do so it indicates uh, it reveals that uh, i am entirely different from the sensation for example i neglect sensations of pain thirst Uh, if i am not finding time and prioritize other activities of importance similarly outside environment and people sometimes won't observe the sensations received from the situations outside also coming to step 5 my interaction with the body or world outside is by way of sensation i read the sensation by decision giving uh, giving meaning to the sensation my reaction and response depends on my samskar i have good experience when i went and uh, observer i have played a role as an observer in the face to face fbp all at aitham uh, uh, engineering college at sikakalam i spent days with resource person uh, bhaiya aswant patel uh, before i met him my assumptions and preconditions are so dominant that i expect to see all the arrangements at the center perfect uh, the arrangements are not at all met my expectations uh, once i uh, went there i found these are not uh, matching with my expectations and somehow i am unable to convey and i felt it's all their inability to make arrangements it results lot of disturbance in me also since there were many instructions and guidelines from act for observer to take responsibility and see that all arrangements to be made as per guideline but when i observe uh, the nature of uh, bhaiya the Uh, bias nature and his uh, down to earth personality even never show any feelings about the arrangements uh, and with calm and quiet uh, composed manner whenever wherever possible try to make himself to do rearrangement and very comfortably handle the sessions it wandered me made me uh, learnt in any situation how to become cool and calm from him and why is it uh, significant for oneself also i could say because of that nature in uh, uh, asun patil bhaiya made me remaining program uh, the remaining program also successful so made me feel so nice and 
participants uh, including coordinators also able to focus on main theme of uh, program ehp instead of worrying arrangements outside the box so i observed and learned from bias by uh, how to mold our expectation depend on situation and ability to show practically the way one should align his thoughts and feelings naturally accept in fact bhaiya never have any expectation and accepted as it is uh, revealed me his nature of molding himself naturally without feel any difficulty at all i have learned a nice lesson that how to see and accept things in its real coming to step 6 i tend to react if my samskar is based on assumptions obviously i observed so many times if i am uh, understanding uh, then i respond uh, when my samskar is based on understand i continue to remain in harmony with right understanding my feelings remain natural in accordance with human nature i continue to be in a state of happiness i used to uh, external uh, i used to take external input to rightly evaluate the external situation i respond i conclude that i am able to overcome my assumptions and predict uh, preconditions to a greater extent but still i am striving myself to do so in its best possible extent coming to the last step it is uh, nowadays i am able to see some extent the beauty of the units in the space trees variety of animals very kind people all resources in the nature self organized uh, they are very much self organized and like all organs in the body due to lack of understanding and feeling of relationship people cause damage and spoiling the beauty of this nature so i decided to contribute myself to protect this nature with all my best efforts to extend possible for this i always ready to render any support in such situations which requires protecting the nature i used to do planting trees and involved in many cleaning activities Uh, i used to teach uh, uh, give the suggestions and teach lessons to friends and near and dear how to utilize natural resources by minimizing the wastage of uh, like water power even uh, in the classroom chalk people are uh, thrown away chalk pieces sage and leave the chalk pieces wherever and uh, they are leaving the switch, uh, power lights and fans in the classroom when the work is over and they are uh, misutilizing the pens pencils uh, and uh, Uh, the vehicles also they are uh, very fond of uh, having more number of uh, variety vehicles uh, so we can uh, be- how best we can utilize any item whether it is useful for anybody then i see that is uh, purpose of others also sir if i have any thing access i use till today uh, for example just to say rita for my head uh, at bath uh, always i use rita uh that is not shampoo the physical uh, that item simple clothes i wear I prefer walk or use cycle for distance less than 2 km based on uh, time permission even never talk loose not only that there is immense satisfaction for me if things are used in best way by myself or anybody also not only myself so in order to explore in conclusion in order to explore continuously i used to involve uh volunteering activities like pp and faq uh, regularly i started attending morning sessions continuously from fifth batch onwards recently i became a part of ehv language translation i had nice experience and i was able to explore further because of opportunity to to play a role of observer in face to face workshop as i mentioned uh, especially with the resource person s1 patil bhai thank you thank you and, and all thank you very much that's all by him from my side yeah, yeah. thank you so much sinhas uh, bhaiya for putting up uh, you know all the observations and giving examples and you know putting our putting our thoughts on various parts of this you know, this exercises so thank you so much so uh, we have uh, very less time so i may invite Sir, may I be directly or put in the comments? Yes, sir. Yes, Namaste, Srinivasji. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Yes, very nice to hear your sharing. I think uh, if I go back to the fifth batch, sixth batch, perhaps even seventh batch, um, your um, you know questions or the sharing, even during the sessions that you did, and Now, 
if I look at uh, you know um, your sharing, I think a lot of progress has happened. Um, I recall when you mentioned regarding your wife and how um, how your expectation was more from her earlier, and then that slowly started changing. And somewhere, I think, in the last batch or the one before that, you were talking about how you can help her. Um, and um, we discussed that also. And I'm glad to notice that uh, you are able to see some changes in her, in your son. In fact, we will notice that it is not about them changing. It is us. When we change, then it reflects on them also and they slowly start getting assured with our behavior and they also start responding. So I think uh, all these are life lessons that uh, we are fortunate that we are able to learn faster because of self-exploration. And um, I can see that those changes in you also from your sharing, how, um, you know, your thoughts, your feelings have been changing over time, like for many of us. So um, even the volunteering activities that you mentioned, um, I think the volunteering also is helping uh, quite a bit. If I go back to what you were mentioning about doing meditation since two decades, if you'd like to just mention a little bit, since you have been doing those kind of practices for a long time. How do you feel this is different from that in terms of the fact that um, perhaps these many changes were you able to notice with that or not? Just a brief about it for maybe you know, a minute or two, if you can mention. I would yeah, it's, uh, it yeah, it's nothing uh, simple to understand. Uh, while I practice meditation before uh, entering into UHV uh, concept, uh, simply I bound by some do's and don'ts and uh, with some uh, a little bit of fear in me, how could be I able, how could be able to develop myself uh, and uh, some focus on some supreme power which is running behind us like now this UHV uh, given me a lot of clarity by exploring myself in each and every proposal and understanding clearly, thoroughly, and then enter into the practice. So mm. that is the difference I could be able to uh, identify. And uh, mm. it's almost concept is same, but the way approach is uh, entirely uh, different. That is only I could, be, could say. Right. That's why I am attracted very much uh, this CHV because uh, Whatever uh, gaps in understanding are there till uh, after two decades also, I could be able to uh, understand and uh, go in depth and understand uh, very clearly. That is the thing. Very nice. I... very nice. That just reiterates that, you know, the reality is one. Yes. And the closer we come to the reality by whichever means, um, it helps us to um, become, you know, more aligned with how things actually are and yes. processes may be there, but ultimately when um, we are able to um, pay attention to it within us, then um, it makes all the difference. Very nice. Also, Srinivas Gupta Ji, best wishes for the further volunteering and for the further progress in your journey also. Thank you, Didi. Because of this morning sessions, uh, made me a lot of uh, dramatic uh, shift in my understanding. So I am thankful for uh, the resource questions uh, and your explanation, especially, and all the co explorers who are putting so many questions and uh, made me thought provoking and understanding them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.